I can also update uh, that uh, we now have a positive case uh, in Cloundra. The woman is 44 years old and has travelled from Victoria through New South Wales into Queensland, arriving in Queensland on the 5th, uh, travelling through uh, areas of Queensland up to the Sunshine Coast and residing at Caloundra with family members and her husband. Uh, the woman was tested yesterday and was confirmed today that it is a positive case. Uh, she is currently being interviewed, but we do have a list of exposure sites of where she has been in Queensland, and I'll get the Chief Health Officer to go through those exposure sites in a moment. But what I say to Queenslanders is we have been here before, we know what to do. If you have been to any of the exposure sites, whether you have symptoms or not, we would like you to come forward and get tested. And we will make sure that our uh, testing clinics on the Sunshine Coast will have extended hours and there will be a number of private pathologists that will also be doing testing. So there'll be plenty of testing facilities uh, that people will be able to go to. So please don't just rely on what you've known in the past around testing clinics. Jump on the website and have a look at the hours that they're operating and which ones will be operating without needing a referral so that you can get tested. Uh, for anyone else, again, our message is clear and simple, which is if you have any symptoms whatsoever, please come get tested. And anyone who has got a COVID test must remain at home until they get that result. So please follow that advice. Uh, that goes for anyone in Queensland, uh, but particularly if you have been around these areas in which this woman has travelled. 